So uh, this is the Mark II. Um, there's another video on the belt-driven refrigeration project. Um, the first one was pretty rough, pretty pretty shaky. So I built this um, refrigeration test bench. Uh, the idea here being, I wanted a nice sturdy platform um, and have a York 210 compressor. This one's out of an 1886 uh, Vol uh, Volkswagen Quantum. Um, swapped around some pulleys a little bit. This is a double double groove V belt pulley. Got a half inch belt on it. Um, have some other ones up here. Got a little more mass than the original one, which was a single single pulley one. And uh, these ones here actually have a heavy flywheel. Um, they're single groove, but they weigh a little bit more than this, but this one's got nice bearings. So um, what we have here is a 20 inch wooden flywheel. And the whole thing is driven by a two and a quarter horsepower treadmill motor, DC, 130 volt DC. Um, uh, PWM controller there, powering it, um, you know, 110, you know, treadmill. Um, anyway, um, set this thing up to, uh, yeah. let's give it a test drive there. See, it's pretty well balanced. When I first rigged this thing up, uh, it had a little wobble to it, and the whole workbench shook pretty badly. So that's about 350 RPM. And we can see that we have a uh, one and three quarter inch pulley off the motor up to a 10 inch pulley here on the mid drive. Then off that shaft is the uh, two and a half inch pulley up to the uh, six inch pulley on the compressor. So the edge of it here is just wrapped in electrical tape just to clean it up a little bit because the edge of the plywood did uh, chip out a little bit. But uh, it probably does contribute to some balance issues, but um, you know, nothing significant. It doesn't worry me. It's not shaking the thing to pieces. Um, I did do another video on this, but I thought I'd talk a little more about making uh, making a wooden flywheel. Um, this thing weighs eight or nine pounds. Um, it is made out of two pieces of three quarter inch plywood. Um, I made it on a, uh, a makeshift router table. Um, just use a small 1024 um, bolt as my pivot point and uh, slowly turn down through the, uh, to make two different discs. And then um, I sandwich them together and um, uh, actually I, I use that center hole as, as a uh, pilot, uh, pilot hole and used a 5 8 uh, spade bit uh, just on a hand drill to bore down through it and uh, open it up for this 5 8 inch shaft. Um, I, uh, I had plans for doing some fancy balancing and you know I ended up just um, sliding on the shaft and sliding these uh, flanges that I bought at the local hardware store onto it and uh, screwed it together and it was actually pretty good. Uh, it had a little wobble like this um, and once I had it mounted up here um, and, and had everything uh, in good shape I um, actually I just held a marker against it and then just turned it by hand, and it would it would create a, a an arc. And then wherever that arc was, I go to the center of that and make a point. And I know that that is the point in which it's too far to this this way. So then I loosened all the screws here on these flanges and undid the uh, the set screws, backed them off a little bit. And uh, at first I just tried to work it a little bit, thinking maybe my hole was just uh, a little bit off, and I could just kind of egg out the hole a little bit. Didn't really work. Um, I ended up just taking some thin pieces of paper, folded up, and slid them underneath the flange at the corresponding point to that uh, that mark I made. And uh, after two attempts, I uh, did a bit on both sides, um, I was able to true it up pretty well. And then, um, in order to uh, take care of any of uh, this, this uh, um, uh, the, the wobble from it being not quite true this way, I wanted to smooth this up. So I took a board and I clamped it, clamped it across my bench here, and then just used a chisel went back and forth and like a makeshift lathe. Um, not even makeshift lathe, it is a lathe. Um, and uh, chewed it down a little bit and then took some sandpaper to it, smoothed it out. It seemed to be pretty good and I just wrapped it in tape just so it was a little bit, a little bit cleaner looking. Uh, the bearing set up here, um, these are uh, 5 8 inch bore uh, pillow block bearings. Bought at the M McGuire bearing here in Portland. And um, there's slotted holes drilled in these uh, these vertical members here. 
um, in order to get sufficient tension on my belt, I, uh, I had to have some adjusters, and uh, so that's what these blocks are that you see here. So this one's putting pressure down, screwed through here, and simply by uh, uh, turning, excuse me, this nut forces the bolt down, and this block pushes against the fill block, and uh, and then uh, correspondingly, because the belt is on that end, there's so much tension there, this end ends up uh, um, getting pushed down. Uh, so this block was necessary. This one up here really isn't doing much of anything, and I probably could have just relocated that one down here, but anyway, I got lots of adjustments, so I can uh, can adjust it accordingly there and, and get the proper belt tension. Um, the motor down here is just, um, there's a bolt going through these this block that I have set up, this bracket, and then uh, this thing pivots, this locks it in place, so I just put some firm pressure with the um, with this loose until this belt is sufficiently tight and uh, lock it down. Um, got myself a little bit of storage over here on this side. And uh, the uh, this isn't really ideal. I would have preferred not to enclose the compressor so much, but I wanted it to be good and, and secure. So I uh, made these blocks and bolted through the sides there. Um, and so everything's screwed together. Since there's so much tension pulling down on the end, I wanted to put this brace on the back. Kind of holds these and distributes some of the load to the base, and then the whole thing's just screwed in place. I um, figured out where it needed to go, and uh, screwed it in place, and pretty much just aligned the the shaft to uh, to match it. Um, I may be changing that mounting system someday. I was going to bolt it, and you know, I decided just a lot of screws would be would be plenty for it. So uh, I'll find out in time how well that's that's going to work. But um, this is essentially what I wanted. I just wanted a free open workspace and uh, a mounted compressor and all the gizmos and gadgets underneath. Um, I'm probably going to put some kind of a guard here so I'm not sticking my pant leg in there or a hose or a cord doesn't get wrapped up in there because that flywheel gets pretty uh, a lot of energy stored up there. Um, and I did leave myself enough room between these members here that if I want to say double up um, and make a thicker flywheel um, at some point I can uh, I can do that. Um, I'm just about maxed out here on the diameter. Probably add another two inches in diameter if I wanted to. But um, this is a good good starting point. I'm pretty uh, pretty pleased with it. All right. Have a good day.